Allah has no spirit. Hello? Please mute, uh, mute you too, Mr. Rahman. Assalamu alaikum, Rahman. Hi. Assalamu alaikum, I said. Why you say hi? I don't know. Um... You don't say assalamu alaikum to Christian, right? Because the Prophet, he was a very nice person. He forbid you from saying assalamu alaikum to non-Muslims. Okay, welcome, sir. All right. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Rahman? Um, so, Muhammad, I mean, Muhammad Hijab, he said something about um, pray when it says in the Quran, hmm. God prays for the Prophet. Hmm. Um, apparently, praying here means blessing. What's okay. your opinion on that? Okay, so you are saying that uh, what his name, uh, Muhammad Hijab, was wrong when he said that, when he said pray for? I hear two sides. I hear that some say it's actual praying, others say that it's just a blessing. No, no, I mean, someone... I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, when Muhammad Hijab, he said, pray for, not pray to. Do you agree with him when he said pray for or this is wrong? I think he said pray for. Said. Yeah, but is it wrong? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, you see, today I saw a person who is supposedly trying to uh, uh, to prove to us uh, that our idea of praying is wrong. But sadly, the Muslims, they forgot that Muhammad Hijab himself, he made a new video trying to explain to us what pray on mean. You see, the verse says, you salluna ala nabi or sallu alayhi. If you if you go in the verse, let us see. Let us go. The search engine is not working. Okay. In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabiyya ayyuhal ladina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Mr. Hijab, he said, this verse means that Allah he pray for, not he pray to. All right? Pray for, not pray to. Uh, as long as Muhammad Hijab, he agree that Allah he pray for, that means Allah he pray. Now, you came with different conclusion against what Muhammad Hijab said. Pray for is Muhammad's statement. Of Muhammad Hijab statement you said blessing correct correct all right based on what you say that mean that Allah and the angels they are doing a blessing to the Prophet do you agree yep okay but my friend if God he blessed me already what the angels would do what is, what is the what is the blessing come from It's in the uh, multiple translations. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not saying the word uh, the word in English. I'm saying uh, when 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 you get a blessing, you get it from who? You get it from the angel or you get it from God? Who is the one who bless us? Um, the gods, angels. No, angels cannot. Only God. You agree? Okay. So now, how the angel? are going to do blessing in the same time with Allah. Make it simple for you. If God, he said to me, Christian Prince, I blessed you. Do I need other blessing from anyone? Anyone can do better? Anyone can increase my blessing? No. Correct? Because God already blessed me. Are you following me, my friend? Yeah. I'm okay. okay. So if Allah said to me, and he is God, and he said, okay, you are a blessed. So what the angels would do? Nothing. What the human being would do? Nothing. I'm blessed by God. Who, who cares about the rest? Right? Yeah. Okay. But th that means there's a mistake here. Because if this is a blessing, then Allah and the angels and the believers, all of them, they are sending blessing on me. As if the believers can add a blessing to the blessing of Allah, they cannot. As if the angels can add a blessing to the, to the blessing of Allah, they cannot. Because the blessing only comes from God. No human being can bless you. You see, when I say to my, to, to my brother in Christ, I say to him, bless you, 
I am just saying a short sentence, which is may God bless you because only God bless us. No angel can bless you, no human, no prophet. All they ask God for a blessing. If I ask my mother, my mother bless me before I leave the house, she is not really the one who is blessing me. She is asking God, supplicate to God, may God bless my son. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So here then, when, when they say to you that Allah, in, that Allah and the angels, they are doing a blessing and the prophet, there is a contradiction because angels cannot do blessing. I get it. Yeah. All right. Now, the word in Arabic is Yusalli, correct? Yeah. Muhammad Hijab, he said, pray for. Which means he confirmed that the word there in Arabic is pray. Okay, that's wonderful. At least he's being honest. Now, praying for, in fact, in Arabic, it does not say pray for. He is just being ignorant in Arabic. In Arabic, it says ala. Do you know what ala means? No. Ala in Arabic means on. On. Not for. Okay, so okay. pray on. Pray on. So, ala, this word here, mean on. Let us, let us come to the conclusion that Allah and in Allah wa malaikatahu Allah and his angels yusallun pray on the prophet how Allah can be God and yet he and the angels are praying on Muhammad and you see in Arabic yusallun is not pray it's praying it's I-N-G do you notice here there is something wrong yeah, it looks quite suspicious. Okay, let me let me explain to you more, my friend. When I say Allah and the angels are praying on the Prophet, that means there is a need for continued prayers. Otherwise, why Allah will keep praying? You know what I mean? Pray, ying, I in G. Okay, so that means even if Allah He pray for Muhammad. You know, he needed to do praying, which means continue prayer. Look like the praying of Allah, or let us say the words of Allah, are not eternal. So he's afraid that his word, his pray, is not going to be answered, so he keep praying. When I say, you see, when I say I send you blessing, God do not need to bless me one million times. If you bless me, I'm blessed. But when we use the I in G, it means there's an action of continue request involved in that story and that continue request is praying using i in g now if allah is the god and he is doing pray and a in g which means continue praying why he need to continue let us say for the sake of argument it's a blessing as you said in the beginning if allah bless me what the i in g for i'm blessed Anybody can steal my blessing, which the, which God gave me? Nobody. Correct? If I'm blessed, it's a decision God he make. And if God he say be, is going to be. Do I agree, my friend? Yeah. Okay. So how and why Allah and the angels, both of them, they do the same act, praying on Muhammad. Regardless if a praying is for Muhammad, as Hijab said, or even blessing on Muhammad as you said in the beginning. It doesn't make sense in both situation because Allah is God and God, the Quran, even the Quran said, you see, when, when uh, this uh, hijab, he was debating uh, Wood, he said something very funny, which, which proved Islam to be false, but because David Wood is not a debater, David Wood is a person who make a lecturer, but not a debater. If I was there, I will, I, will, I will put immediately hijab in the corner and he will be sorry for saying that. He said that uh, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, quoting the Quran. How? In the method of Isa in the law, Kamethal Adam, Khalakahu min Turabin, Thumma Kala Lahu Kum Fayakun, chapter 3, verse number 59. The similarity between Adam uh, uh, or Isa and Adam is the same uh, how he created them. Read with me. The 
similitude of Jesus before Allah as that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, be, and he was. Do you see the verse, my friend? Yes. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Did Allah create Adam by saying, be? Yes. No, he did not. If, if you were watching the guy who was speaking to me before you, we were asking him about Allah, he breathed into the fashion of Adam. He breathed into him, all right? He breathed into him. Okay, let's go there. Let's go. You see, Allah, he did not really create Adam in such a way, never. He breathed, he fashioned Adam. Let's go a little bit. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي Read carefully with me, chapter 15, verse number 29. When I have fashioned him, and I breathe into him. So how Allah created Adam? He fashioned mud. If you read the, the verse before it, Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I am about to create a man. How he created them? Read carefully. From sounding clay, from mud, modeling into a shape. So what is the first thing Allah he do supposedly in this story here? He brought dust. He mixed it with water. Then he fashioned a modeled, which is a shape, will come to be a shape, shape of a human. And then after I have fashioned him to the way I want him to be, I breathe into him. So Allah did not say be and he was. It was a process of making. That means the verse in the Quran saying that the similitude of Jesus, the same as Adam, he said to him be and he was, is a lie. Are you getting my point? Yes. Because Adam, he was not created by saying be to him. Not only that, if you go in the Quran, you will see that the Quran said that Adam, he was in rush, Ajula. وَيَدْعُوا الْإِنسَانُ بِالشَّرِّ دُعَاءَهُ بِالْخَيْرِ وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا Chapter 17, verse number 11. Do you know what, do you know what this verse means? Ajula, do you know what Ajula means? Ajula, Muhammad, he claimed that when Allah, he was creating Adam, Adam, he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. He said to him, uh, Allah, please finish me before the sunset. So if we go to the interpretation, just to show you, I'm not the one saying that. This is what you're, you know, you almost don't believe in that. Read carefully with me. And Allah tells about the man has how he some sometime prays against himself or his children, etc. And then he continues saying, and where uh, 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 and the man ever has the Salman al Pharisee, which is the companion of the, your prophet, said that Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him. It entered his body from his head downward. When it is reached his brain, he sneezes. Hachu, hachu. And by the way, this is true. I know I, I, I am an Arab, and all of us there we sneeze a lot, you know. And say it, Alhamdulillah. Here we go. Adam is not even made. He speak Arabic. I mean, see, amazing. It's a miracle. Alhamdulillah. And Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. Then, when it reached his eyes, he opened them. Who Adam? And when it reached his body and the limbs, he started to stare at them like, what the heck? What is that? He's looking at his feet like, what is that? In wonder, it's like, like, what? What is this? He wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So he said, oh Lord, make it happen before the night comes. And here we notice that everything Muhammad Hijab, he said when he was debating David Wood is nothing but a lie. Because Adam is not the same as Jesus, 
and Adam was not created by saying to him be and was it took him a lot of time even Adam is worried that the night might set or the night might come and yet Allah is not finished he's so slow so Allah he fashioned a mud he mixed water with with dust make him mud then he fashioned the mud in the shape of a man and then after he fashioned the man he breathed into him and even the breathing is taking forever to download so the verse where it says that Allah, he said that the similarity between Adam and Jesus is the same. He created them from dust. That's false. Secondly, Jesus was not created from dust. You see, the only one was created from dust is Adam and then Eve created from Adam. So another mistake in the Quran, when the Quran says that Adam and Jesus, both of them are from mud and he said to them be. Because even in the story of Jesus, Allah did not say to Jesus be and he was. He breathed into Mary vagina. And he made her pregnant. Where, where is the word be? Correct? Did Allah breathe into Mary? Are you with me, my friend? Yeah. Okay. So all the story is a fabrication. Everything they say is a fabrication. Allah cannot create, uh, he cannot be the one who created Adam. He cannot be the one who created Jesus as he claimed. And he cannot be the one who we speak about that he can be God because he is praying on Muhammad. Why, you know, the, the, the Muslim, they say to us, okay, how Jesus is God, but yet he prayed to the Father. And this is what the Trinity is about. Trinity is about three persons in one. The Son speaking to the Father. When Allah, he pray, he pray to who? There is no answer. If Allah is sending a blessing, how the angels and the, and the human, they can do the same as the act of Allah. It's impossible. If Allah sends a blessing, why he is saying ING? Yusalluna ala nabi You see what happened in Islam, Muhammad, he made himself the center of the universe. To the point he wants us to believe that God and the angels and everybody, he is praying, busy, praying on one person. His name is Muhammad. Everybody is praying on Muhammad. You name it. There's not even one single person don't pray on Muhammad. Why? Because Muhammad is the center of the earth. I will give you another example. Let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, my friend, if a, prophet yeah. of, if a prophet of God have a fight with his wife, should he call 911? Should he call Jibreel? Should he call Allah for help or he should fix his problem inside his house? I think he should talk to his wife, really. Okay, look what happened in the Quran. Just to show you that Muhammad is the center of the universe. Chapter 66, verse number 4. I hope you are seeing my screen with me, my friend. Are, do you see the screen? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. And this is your Muslim translation. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not translating to you. I'm showing you what is there. Read carefully with me. Two of the wives of Muhammad, they have a strike. Why? Because Muhammad is a bad person. And Muhammad, he needed help. Obviously, those two women are so aggressive. And Muhammad cannot fight them. So look what happened. Muhammad, he told them, Allah told me, if ye turn in repentance to him, your heart are indeed so inclined. But if you back each other against him, truly, Truly, Allah is his protector. And Jibreel, who, who, who? Hold on. Allah is his protector. Is Allah is enough to protect Muhammad? No. The list to continue. And Jibreel, and every righteous Muslim, and furthermore, all the angels, all of this because Muhammad is having a fight with two women, they are his wives. Do I need all of those to support me in a fight with two women? They are five foot tall. The enemy you just named for us supposedly can destroy the whole universe. I am fighting with my wife. And now I tell my wife, if you uh, became a partner against me, guess what? Guess who is going to support me? Allah will support me. Uh, Allah is not enough. They are not scared yet. Okay, not scared from Allah and every Muslim. Uh -huh. They are not scared yet. Let me scare them more. And Jibreel, 
Jibreel, do you know Jibreel? He has 600 wings. Huh? Not scared yet? Okay, all the angels too. I mean, who's left? Who is left not involved in this fight? Allah, every righteous, 1.4 billion Muslim, including you, my friend. Every Muslim in the world, and Allah, and Jibreel, and every angel is involved in fighting with two females. They are five foot tall. What do you say? That's quite um, quite interesting. Uh, do you, where did you get that from? Which chapter is this? It's in the Quran, my friend. It's in the Quran in front of you. Do you um, do you which, see? Do, you don't you don't see the the screen, my friend. You see the screen or not? Yeah, I do. Um, which chapter in this? Okay. Is it? Chapter sixty six, verse number four. Okay. Chapter of At-Tahreen. So my friend, do you really, what do you think after I said to you this? I mean, do you think really this is going to be a, a prophet of God? Um, you raised some interesting um, questions. No, I, want you, have, um, I want you to be honest. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's quite, um, it's quite weird and um, it, it does make me ask some questions about what I believe in now. Okay, my friend, listen, you sound like a very decent man, and really I am enjoying talking to you. You see, I don't know how old are you, but uh, age is not really what makes us mature. It is how we think. I want you to tell me, as long already you have a doubt about Islam, I can't tell. What is making you stay as a Muslim? Give me a reason to stay as a Muslim. I think um, probably it's, it's like a, it's like a, my family's identity, etc. Okay. And uh, okay, it's okay. just it's like this mental block that. All right, but my friend, but my, but my friend, my friend, you are smart enough to make a decision. You see, Abraham one day his family they used to worship idols. Even the Quran supposedly says that, correct? Right. Okay. So should Abraham stay with his family and then go to hell? Or he should leave his family. I'm not saying leave and leave them. I mean, don't talk to them now. I'm saying leave their, his family faith and save himself. Should we throw ourselves in hellfire just because my family, they believe in something wrong? Obviously, I can tell that in your heart, there's nothing that's convincing you. You just told me it's just because of a family thing now. So why do you want to stay as a Muslim? You leave True. Islam and you try your best to convince them to leave Islam too. You see, let me show you something additional to what you said, as long as we mention Abraham. A prophet of God, he should not say stupid things. And we mention many, many stupid things. And by the way, I'm not insulting. I'm just saying what I believe. When Muhammad, you know, when Muhammad, he mentioned, speak about Abraham, because we spoke about Abraham. And then Muhammad, he said the following about Abraham. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آزَرَةً أَتَتَّخِذُ أَصْنَامًا آلِهَةً Okay, translation. Chapter 6, verse number 74. Lu Abraham said to his father, Azar, look here at the pupu Muhammad he did. Muhammad do not know Aramaic. And he thought that this word, Azar, is the name of the father of Abraham. So he did not change it, he keep it in Arabic, he keep it as it is in Aramaic. Do you know what Azar mean? No. Azar is a word mean foolish. So what Muhammad the false prophet he said, he thought that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. Why? Because he do not know what it means. He thought this is okay. The book he is reading from, it's a foreign language. He do not know, it's a mix with Arabic. And there it says, Adar, Azar. Okay, he said to his father, what? Azar. So he thought, oh, this is, must be the name of the father of Abraham. But Azar is a word mean foolish. Abraham saying to his father, foolish, are you going to worship idols? And that makes sense. Or fool, you know? You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you being fool? This is foolish. Imagine that Muhammad, he thought that this is the name of the father of Abraham. This guy, he got everything wrong. So you want to be, with my respect to you, you want to be foolish and believe that foolish is the last name of Abraham? <laughs> you know what I mean? This is foolish. <laughs> I'm glad that you are laughing. 
So my friend, I invite you right now to denounce the devil and to leave Islam and to say that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. What do you mean, say now? <laughs> Sorry? You mean say it now or something? Yeah, why you don't say that? I mean, already you are laughing. I just heard you. It's a, <laughs> you just said it. this is foolish already. I agreed. So why you don't say that Muhammad is a false prophet? Say it. No, no, I can't say that. You cannot? No, there's a thousand people watching. <laughs> so uh, are you saying you will not say that because you are scared because 1,000 people watching? Uh, I don't know. I, I'd have to go away and think about all this. Hmm. So what, what I hear from you, I understand. I'm not going to force you to say it. But you are saying because there is 1,000 people watching, you don't say it. But if you are talking to me in private, you will say it, correct? After I've gone away and, you know, talked about this with other people and see what they said. Okay, you want to talk to me in private after we finish or maybe tomorrow? So you can say that sure. to me and I promise you I will not record it? Yep, yeah, sure. All right, that's wonderful. Well, my friend, you just said that already. You just agreed that Muhammad is a false prophet. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay, my friend, I have a Muslim want to call me, so I will, I will, I will, I will drop your phone so we can.